Hello and welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to talk about Thaco or Thaco. I've seen it apparently it's pronounced both ways. I always um, heard it pronounced Thaco, but uh, just doing a little bit of quick research on it, and apparently TSR employees pronounce it Thaco. So been wrong all these years. Who knew? Who knew? But I'm looking at the, looking at Thaco. Um, I kind of like dug back through some of my older stuff just to kind of see. Uh, if I could find any references to it, because, well, where the skull kind of came from was when I was rolling up my uh, um, test fighter, because I hadn't uh, rolled up a character in first or the, the advanced Dungeons and Dragons, like, ever, so I was going through the process and trying to remember it, and part of that was the fighting tables, and I realized they were basically Thaco tables. So I started to do a little bit of reading and research, and sure enough, um, well before second edition came out, and I knew it had kind of been introduced before second edition, but it was like five, six, seven years before uh, second edition came out um, that uh, we had Thaco. Now in second edition, that's uh, of course right there, it's spelled out um, as part of the player's handbook on page 89 of the uh, of my, my player's handbook, the newer, the 2.0 two player's handbook, but it's on a different page. But on the original player's handbook for second edition, it uh, it does, you know, it uh, uses Thaco um, as part of the process. And I was a little bit surprised, and I guess I had probably known it, but hadn't really known it, that first edition uh, fighting tables are essentially just Thaco. So I thought I would uh, kind of run through how Thaco works real quick here, because, well, one of the other things, of course, you see all those um, jokes and whatnot about how difficult Thaco is, and it's really, it's not. If you can count, if you passed, if you graduated kindergarten, and to make it even easier, if you graduated first, second grade, and learned how to add and subtract, if you learned how to count in kindergarten, and add and subtract in first, second grade, you know how to use Thaco. You just don't know that. Um, simplest way to look at Thaco is to get to the right page here. Oh, and this is something else I noticed. On, on the original Dungeon Master's Guide, way back in 1979, this is the uh, revised edition, December 1979, Way back then, here on this table, um, one of, it's a monster table, way in the back of the book, it specifies two hit armor class zero. So you have like that boar, wild, size medium, two hit armor class zero, 16 armor class seven. So, so on. So, um, that goes where they've been with us at, for a long, long time. It was, you know, even acknowledged as early as 1979. So, Thacko is not anything real new, um, or, or, you know, that, uh, I had always kind of, even as a, as a player through the 80s and so forth and the 90s and primarily playing in second edition until I kind of started in fifth, but, uh, I'd always kind of thought that Thacko was, you know, something that was kind of like fixed for second edition, but it was just the same, the same exact tables that uh, first edition used, just um, described differently and actually really poorly. If you read the second uh, second edition entry on Thacko, it is um, they're figuring out the the two hit number. It says the first step in making an attack rolls to find the number needed to hit the target. And it just kind of gets really confusing. So, you know, it's not super confusing, but it's more confusing than it should be. Subtract the armor class of the target from the, attar from the attacker's Thaco to hit armor class zero. And uh, the character has to roll the resulting number or higher on a 1d20 to hit the target. Now that's all well and good, but if had I... Or if that was in a table form, it would be a lot simpler to me, and probably to a lot of people that are just kind of confused by it. And what do you know? We have it in table form right here in that 1979 Player's Handbook, or Dungeon Master's Guide, the Dungeon Master's Guide, because 
this line here, line zero, is literally the two hit armor class zero line for a fighter. It's the two hit armor class zero line for thieves, assassins. It's the two hit armor class line for a magic user. Two hit armor class line for clerics, druids, monks. Um, and the monsters, I mean, the monsters even have a two hit armor class line. It's just that line right there, that's their two hit armor class line. Not to say that uh, second edition doesn't have table, of course, on page 91, um, you have your calculated table, um, your calculated two hit armor class zero table, which uh, for the rogue is um, essentially it's the same table, um, only instead of increasing by two every couple of levels, you actually increase as you go, which is, you know, a lot nicer, I guess, for, for the second edition fighter, because their Thacko changes at every level instead of every two levels. So for example, here we have the um, warrior at 20, second at 19, then 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, it just keeps counting down. Whereas in the um, first edition warrior, the Thacko, the two hit armor class zero, would be ignoring row zero, would be 20. The 19 isn't printed here because it's uh, in included in, in the second there for 20. When you get to third, you get to 18, uh, which includes third and fourth at 18. Uh, but then fifth is 16. So if you were to, and that's really what the, the difference here between the two is that um, the uh, Thacko is uh, being spelled out level by level in second or in second edition. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. And here it's just going 20, 18, 16, 14, every two levels. So I mean, you, there's nothing to stop you when you're playing first edition from going, I'm first level, I'm, I have a Thacko of 20. I'm second level, I have a Thacko of 19. I'm third level, I have a Thacko of 18. You're going to be on the same progression as the second edition is. Um, how it's laid out in the book here, raw, you would uh, just... First and second, you're at 20, then at third, you drop to 18. You do that two-step drop, whereas, on, you know, like I said, on, on the uh, second edition, it, it does step-by-step. Step. Some of the other classes get a little bit more love in second edition, like the wizard, for example. Uh, first, second, and third is 20, and then uh, fourth and fifth and sixth, it turns to 19. That's compared to the first edition, where it's first through fifth level, it's a 20. And then finally at sixth level, it drops to a 19. So the wizard actually gets a little bit, you know, of a bump, a boost right through there. And that's kind of the, you see the same thing as some of the other tables too, the rogue, um, compared to the thief, you kind of see the same thing. It gets first through fourth is a 20 and then it drops on at fifth level to 19 versus here it's uh first through uh, third and then it drops to an 18. so you kind of see that back and forth there the uh the various but it's very very similar only the only real difference is in the second edition you don't have the full table printed which I guess is what really kind of threw me when I was thinking about first edition um, combat, having this big table, but truly it's it's the same thing. And I mean, the numbers may be a little bit, you know, moved around, especially with like the magic user and stuff, but like but for the warrior, for sure, there's nothing stopping from just dropping every level with the Thacko. Um, if, you, if that's what you wanted to house rule, that wouldn't be rules as written, but that could be an easy enough house rule to, to do, so. So yeah, there's just uh, um, not a whole lot of difference between the two tables at all. I mean, they're like I said a little bit with the numbers and how the, the numbers line up between the uh, various classes, but that's really not that big of a deal in the in the in the uh, in how these two two combat systems are functioning. They're t pretty much identical. And something I found interesting too is that the. Uh, player's handbook the um the uh, uh basic rule set the old basic rule set the player's handbook in there it spells out um two hit armor class zero and i had a bookmarked i thought 
And now I can't find it because, oh, here it is, right here. The character hit roll table, okay? Now you can extrapolate this. It, it doesn't spell it out to hit armor class zero, but it's that same table that's in there. The two hit armor class zero would be 19, which is the two hit armor class zero. Uh, this is for a thief, a thief table. Yep, there it is. Because in this book, they're talking about a thief. It's a two hit armor class zero for a thief. It's the same table. Um, so they've been very consistent in their rules throughout. And like I said, and then, and so like I said in the beginning, if you can count, you can figure out Thacko. It's uh, it's just literally um, adding and subtracting from that two hit armor class zero. Here's here's the uh, the dungeon master's rule book from that uh, basic rule set. And then you have right there, you have your monster's hit table. And right across, and of course, there's your two hit armor class zero, which uh, is going to line up with the original um, dungeon master's guide. So what all this means, and I guess I have one more spot there in the old uh, keep on the borderlands module. I mean, it spells it out right here. You can extrapolate it out. Um, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Um, so, and then the armor class, as it goes down, the, the uh, two hit number goes up. And when you hit, uh, hit zero, that's literally just a spot where you can start and you can add and subtract and easily find the, the two hit number. Now, to just put this into a quick example, looking back at the uh, fighter table, and we're just going to look at the line zero, go straight across to, oh, let's say, level 13. A level 13 fighter. Well, I just can't see that. Level 13 fighter. And according to this, two hit armor class zero for a level 13 fighter is the number eight. All right, let's say he encounters a creature that has an armor class of five. All right, now we could look it up on the table. 13, okay. Well, let's see. Armor class uh, would be the two hit numbers three, or you can see where we're going here. Because we know his armor class is five, we can say eight minus five equals three three and that's our new two hit number so we have to roll on the 20 sided die we have to roll a three or better to hit that creature with an armor class of five now what if the if the creature had an armor class of negative five well in that case you could look it up in the table again uh, for the 13th level we go well we see uh negative five would go here and we go oh it must be a 13 or you could simply once again Eight minus a negative five gives us, we all know the answer here, 13. So that would be our two hit number if the enemy had an armor class of negative five. Um, so yeah, that would be, just, it's, it's very quick and simple that way because then when you roll your dice, you need to roll a 13 or better to hit this creature. So our level 13 fighter would have a much easier time fighting a creature who was um, had an armor class of five because remember uh, with armor class uh, an ar armor class of 10 you had basically street clothes you were either naked or you had on a simple robe tunic type thing armor class zero that's pretty good you had um, you had some plate mail you had a shield you might have had some magical stuff you might have had you know had some um you had something going on there to even hit armor class of zero um to hit an armor class of say negative 10 that's almost impossible not impossible but very very difficult and only a high level character can really achieve that 
or certain you know monsters and and so forth would be, would be able to that would take lots of magic to uh, get you to negative ten really. I mean, there's probably other ways that are non-magical, but basically lots of magic gets you to negative 10. So, keeping that in mind, with Thacko then, let's, let's just do another um, comparison here using the Thieves Table. I'm going to wipe this away here real quick. Erase that off. my super non-absorbent rag. Okay, so let's say we have a thief. Let's say we have a level, oh, let's say a level 17 thief. It just makes the, the numbers more fun. So Thacko, starting at zero on the thieves table. Over at level 17 is 12. So Thacko equals 12. So to, if, if, if that thief encounters a, an enemy with an armor class of five, well, we could look it up and see that it's uh, some armor class of five. My finger needs to stay straight on the line. It could look it up and see that it's seven or very simple to do. If they have an armor class of 5, then we just say, well, 12 minus 5 equals 7. So your two-hit number on the 20-sided dice becomes 7 or better. So 7, 8, 9, 10, so, so on and so forth. If the creature had an armor class of negative 5, so again, we could work our way over and see that it's 17, or we could 12 minus a negative 5 equals 17, right? because they have an armor class of negative five, so when you subtract a negative, you're really adding. Or, you know, so then negative five is 17 confirmed, right here on the, uh, right here on the chart. So that's as simple as Thacko really is. It's not, it's not anything convoluted, it's not super complicated, it's actually really just a simple, simple process. And with the charts, it makes it really simple if you just want to reference it real quick and not do the math, but like I said, if you if if you graduated counting and graduated adding and subtracting, you can probably figure this out. Now, subtracting a negative number, I mean maybe that's a little bit tricky, but when if you know that you, when you subtract a negative number, you're just adding. That's uh the math lesson for the day is done. All right, I'm gonna grab the theme folio here. And I'm just gonna flip to a random page and Find an armor class of a, of a monster. Here's the gamma, Gamato. Never use this. A, gam, a, a Gamato. All right. So we know that our thief Stacko is 12. We looked that up already. If a, if a Gamato's armor class shows that it's 6. So we know that... Uh, uh, so our armor class is 6. So... 12 minus 6 equals 6. So if that thief wants to hit the Gamato, then all he needs to do is roll on his 20-sided dice a 6 or better. Let's say the thief wants to fight a random page here, random page. However you pronounce this word. Um, I'm not even going to try. But its armor class is... Frequency armor class normal to, oh normal ten, head and gut when detached is eight. So if the head and gut is detached to this thing, its armor class is eight. So armor class is eight. Then our seventeenth level thief, twelve minus eight equals four. He can probably hit that all day long. He's not going to have much of a find that thing to be much of a challenge. Now, if we look around for something maybe with a little bit lower armor class, because I seem to be hitting all of the really high armor classes. Um, let's see here. About a ske skeleton warrior, armor class of two. <clears throat> so armor class two. Okay, once again, just 12 minus two equals 10. Now he needs to hit roll a 10 or a better. You can see as the armor class goes down, the odds of hitting also goes way down. Because when the armor class is 2, for this 
thief, 17th level thief, his stat goes 12. Then all of a sudden he has to roll a 10 or a better. All right, let's compare it to this creature, this Sniad, a pesty. His armor class is negative four. So for this thief to hit that guy, um, 12 minus a negative four equals, well, we know we have to add. So 12 plus four is 16. So that thief's going to have to roll a 16 or better to hit this uh, Sniad. Now let's compare that quick to a fighter, a fighter of level, well, let's pick a low level. Actually, a, a, let's take a quick look at a level 17 fighter. His two hit armor class um, is four for a 17th level fighter. So he's going to be able to hit that um, four minus negative four is, so that's plus, is eight. So a, a, a fighter, a 17th level fighter, as long as you don't need an eight, a 17th level thief, because the two hit armor class zero number is different, is going to need a 16. You can see that right here, 17 plus two hit armor class zero is just four for fighters that are 17 plus, but no other potential modifiers, magic modifiers or anything. You compare that to say the thief once again, which is two hit armor class zero for that thief as a 12. I just wanted to double check that my finger did not go wandering. So once you know that, you write that on your character sheet, that's really all you have to know is you have to know what your two hit armor class um, zero number is. And then once you know that for your level, and once you know that, you just uh, um, you just can just roll the dice and say, you know, that uh, there you go. You don't have to look up the tables. You don't have to look anything up. It's going to become really quick and really easy to run combat if you run it that way. I have a feeling lots of people did because, like I said, Dragon Magazine, um, December of 84, mentions Thacko in, in, in on, on adventure it spells it out and apparently it was I was actually going to dig out my uh my uh, CDs of the Dragon magazine I've got them somewhere or I did I used to but uh you could at one time buy all the, the 250 of the Dragon magazines on CD but I and with the December of 84 issue I actually had Thacko in there for the first time so it's been around for a while, um, maybe not all the way back to the very beginning, but essentially it has been back to the very beginning because all of these tables um, kind of go back even as I don't, don't have the old paper versions, the old original, original versions, but these tables themselves have been used for quite a while, um, at least since 1979, because that's when this book here was uh, was published, so which is pretty early in the Dungeons and Dragons uh, career. I hope that uh, maybe helped clear up how Thacko works. It's, uh, like I said, pretty simple. Um, and it would definitely speed up your advanced Dungeons and Dragons combat. You definitely do not need to reference these tables all the time. You would not want to like, print these tables out and use them. Because just having that to hit, and the same with the monsters, you, you know, if the monster knows that, okay, I'm going to hit, if I'm a level, if, if I'm a hit dice, uh, one monster to hit armor class zero is 18. So as a dungeon master, you can, you can say, what's your, you know, what's your player's armor class? So oh, it's 10. Well, I need to roll a eight or better because 18 minus 10 is eight. So it becomes very quick and very easy for everybody involved to uh, do that combat. All right, well, thanks for listening. I hope I was informative, and I hope I didn't make too many mistakes. I kind of made some mistakes in the math. Who knows? But it's not like it was hard math, literally, if it's adding and subtracting. So thanks for watching.